It's the Joel Shit Show featuring Joel Shit. Hi, and welcome to the Joel Shit Show. I'm your host, Joel Shit. I know I'm like in your face. There's no negative zoom on this camera. I'm live on location in Portland, Oregon. I'm on the outskirts of Beaverton, yet I'm technically in Portland. Just like at home, I've got a refrigerator to stand in front of. Isn't that all we really need in life is a refrigerator to stand in front of? Fuck the rock to wind a piece of string around. We don't need that shit. This is a pretty good fridge, too. Check it out. You've got the, the bonding spider men and you've got the cats whose names I don't remember, and you've got flyers for vegetarian restaurants. You've got a cheese magnet. Much better than a babe magnet, because a babe magnet can't stick to the refrigerator. So all that hot oil's too greasy. Woke up at 5.10 and got to the airport and flew Alaska Airlines where they have Jones Diet Cream Soda and got here and landed in Portland and everyone's so cold and walking around with three jackets on and I had a t-shirt and shorts on. I'd have my shorts on now but I spilled coffee on them. Oops, that's why I don't drink coffee. Well, I drank a lot of coffee yesterday. I had a coffee, I had two soy lattes, and I had two Diet Cokes because I was tired. The problem is today I will have a headache in about an hour because I wasn't going to have any more coffee. So I'm going to have to probably have one and kind of ease off of it. I don't want to just cold turkey that shit. And the thing is on Friday I'm going to have to have more anyway because I'm going to have to get up at like 3.30 to get to the airport in time because my flight leaves at 6.20. So why deal with the withdrawal symptoms when I'm not quitting quitting? So I'll just probably have to make do with a coffee or two as the week goes on. Uh, let's see. I saw blue skies for black hearts last night. They were very solid. The bassist especially. Very good band. Uh, I got a couple of their CDs. They're going to take them to KSU. I also saw a band called Fitz and the Somethings. One second. Fitz and the Tantrums. They're, they're fun. The, uh, they're kind of piecing it together. The stage presence is good. They're, uh, they've got a real, like an Ike and Tina Turner sound is what I say. I don't like the saxophonist. I don't think he belongs. There's enough going on already. But it's a fun festival band. I really liked them. Here's uh, the new CD from uh, Blue Skies for Black Hearts. It's called Serenades and Hand Grenades. See? You can't beat Portland style. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, let's see. What else did I do yesterday? I worked for Yahoo. I went to the Yahoo campus in Hillsboro. That's where I got the stupid lattes, the soy lattes. They were free. How could I not drink them? And I got to take Max all the way from the airport all the way down to Hillsboro. That took about an hour. I stopped at Burgerville and I got a, it was a black bean burger patty, but it wasn't, it was a fancy name with S's and K's in it and it was spicy, and I got sweet potato fries and a blackberry seasonal shake because they hadn't run out yet. $13.07, and that's without tax because there's no sales tax here in Oregon. 13 bucks for a fast food meal, but it was pretty good, and I didn't eat again. I was at 9, I didn't eat again until like 5, so 6, 7, 7 o'clock I didn't eat until, so, you know, that was good. Uh, Burgerville's pretty neat. They put the nutrition information on the receipt and tell you how you can cut back on your calories. Like, I know now if I'd got my seasonal shake with frozen yogurt instead of ice cream, I would have saved 500 calories and 50 grams of fat. Well, should have told me that before I ordered, huh? When am I going to go back to Burgerville? I don't know. Not in the next year. That's why I'm here now, because Stanford starts Monday, and I'm not going to be very exciting. I'm telling you, just stop watching the show for a year, <laughs> minimum, because the next 365 episodes are not going to be very good after I get back from Portland. Uh, so anyway, yeah, I'm going to take these CDs down to the uh, station. This is Nolder Blue Skies with Black Hearts. It's numbered to 200. Look, number 147. Hello, hello. So, uh, you know, lots of mass transit taking and place visiting this week, so I'm excited about that. Uh, it's, it's nice to be here. It was sunny yesterday. I didn't look, but it was probably like 70. It felt really nice. It was just a beautiful day. I know it usually rains here. Every other time I've been here it rains, but not this time. So, I'm excited about that. But, uh... Yesterday's episode, one of the songs from Blue Skies for Black Hearts. I forget what it's called, but I'm going to update the description once I find out from the bassist who I know. That's why I said the bassist was good. See? When he tells me uh, about the song, then uh, what it was called, then I will, uh, I will label it on YouTube. I wish I had done their whole set.
but I didn't get a chance to talk with him before they sat up, and I know Kelly would have been cool with it. I just didn't get a chance to ask him, and it allowed me to actually watch the show and enjoy it, which is good, because I had never seen them play before. The next time I see them play, if I do, I will probably film their set put on YouTube on Sister Station Jughead 177. But for now, you get one song, and it's an episode without me, so it's a double win for you. That's all the time we have for today. Visit us on the web at joelshitshow.com. Email joel at joelshitshow.com.